The Lord is in the holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, Lord make to help us. To help us. Glory, to the, Glory Father, to the Father, and to the Son, and to, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, the beginning is it now, is now it and will be forever. Be forever. Amen. 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 Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us let shout us for joy, joy to the rock of our salvation. salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving, thanksgiving, and raise, raise a loud shout For you are a great God. You are, you are great, great above, above all gods. gods. In your hand are the caverns of the earth, and the, earth, and the heights of the hills, hills are yours also. also. The sea is yours, for you, you made it. it. And your and hands have ruled the, the dry land. land. Come, Come, let us bow down and bend, bend the knee. And, and kneel before, 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 before the Lord our Maker. For you are our God. And we are the people of your pasture, and the sheep of your hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to your voice. Welcome, Alan. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and shall be raised up above the hills. People shall stream to it. And many nations shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall co go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples and shall arbitrate between strong nations far away. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they shall all sit down, uh, sit under their own vines and under their own fig trees, and no one shall make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. For all the peoples walk, each in the name of its God, but we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Let us read responsively Psalm 85, verses 7 through 13. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will, I will listen, listen to what the Lord God, God is saying, for he is, for he is speaking peace to his, to his faithful, faithful people, people and, and to those who turn their hearts, hearts to him. Truly his salvation is very near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy, Mercy and, and truth, truth have, have met, met together. together. Righteousness, Righteousness and peace and have peace kissed have each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord, the Lord will, will indeed grant prosperity, and our land will live in increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. Glory, Glory to, the to the Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, the beginning is now, and will be forever. 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 Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said, On that day you will ask nothing of me. Very truly I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but will tell you plainly of the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name. I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world again. I am leaving the world and am going to the Father. His disciples said, Yes, now you are speaking plainly, not in any figure of speech. 
now we know that you know all things and do not need to have any question, anyone question you. By this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them. Do you now believe? The hour is coming. Indeed, it has come when you will be scattered, each one to his home, and you will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have said this to you so that in me you may have peace. In the world you face persecution, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Thanks to God. Be to God. The Reverend Hiram Hisanori Kano, 1889 to 1986, was an Episcopal priest known by some as the saint of Nebraska and Colorado. He was an agricultural missionary among Japanese Americans in Western Nebraska and a pastor to American soldiers imprisoned for having been AWOL while he himself was a prisoner during the Japanese internment of World War II. Father Kano, who was from a well-known family in Tokyo, received a master's degree in agriculture from the University of Nebraska. In the early 1920s, Bishop Beecher of Western Nebraska discerned in Kano the evangelist he was seeking to call Nebraska's Japanese to be God's people. Kano worked first as a lay minister, lay missioner, but was ordained a deacon in 1928 and a priest in 1936. On December 7th, 1941, Father Cano had just celebrated the Eucharist in North Platte, Nebraska, 180 miles from his wife and children at their Scotts Bluff home. On that morning, he was arrested by the police and was not allowed to notify his family of his detention but was sent to the district, district attorney in Omaha. Because his family in Japan had connections with the Japanese government, and he was so influential with the Japanese Americans as both a minister and a teacher of agriculture, he was rated class A, the most potentially dangerous of Japanese Americans. He was the only Japanese of the 5,000 living in Nebraska, Colorado and Wyoming to receive this rating and to be interned. Despite his own defense and pleas from his bishop, he spent the next two years in internment camps. He spent time in four different states, always working to help the other internees and those imprisoned AWOL soldiers. He served as dean of a school for the internees and taught many courses in agricultural studies and in English and he preached the gospel. After the war, he returned to Nebraska and to his ministry in 1946. Father Cano and his wife earned their citizenship soon after the law permitted in, in 1952, and then began teaching citizenship classes so that between 1953 and 1955, nearly 100% of the Nebraska Japanese became citizens. 40 years after World War II, when the US government acknowledged that Japanese Americans had been wronged by the internments and offered to pay reparations, Father Kano told his bishop, I don't want the money. God just used that as another opportunity for me to preach the gospel. Lord have mercy. Christ have, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our, Our Father, 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 who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who has reconciled the world to yourself through Christ, entrust to your church the ministry of reconciliation, 
as you did to your servant, Hiram Hisanori Kano, and raise up ambassadors for Christ to proclaim your love and peace wherever conflict and hatred divide. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. 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 Siblings, God commands us through Jesus Christ to love one another. In baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves, to strive for justice and peace, and to respect the dignity of every human being. Let us now honor these vows and let us pray for our nation, for wise and just leaders, and for the needs of others throughout our community and the world. We pray for continued blessings on all peacemakers and leaders who value peace and on everyone who promotes nonviolent solutions to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to all violence and warfare around the world. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our, hear our prayer. We pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves and to address the needs of our siblings throughout the world, for the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities, and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all nations that they may live in unity, peace, and concord, and that all people may know justice and enjoy the perfect freedom that only God can give. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We commend our nation to the Lord's care. Grant to Joseph, our president, Kathy, our governor, and to all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do the Lord's will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve the people of this land. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the church militant throughout the world, that it may be an instrument of your healing love. We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, Lauren, our rector, and Kurt, our rector emeritus. God of love, in your mercy. Yeah. You're our prayer. We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. We pray also for an end to the growing disparity between the rich and poor, and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love, in your mercy. You are our prayer. We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country and the world that we will respect all people as precious children of God, and that discrimination based on ethnic, religious, and gender differences will be forever banished from our hearts, our society, and our laws. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for a reverence of all creation, that we will have the tools and the will to conserve it, that we will use its resources in the service of others, and that we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the peoples of Afghanistan. Send your spirit to resolve the nations of the earth, to find pathways to save lives, protect human rights, and alleviate the hardships of those seeking refuge, asylum, and safety. God of love, in your mercy, Hear our, prayer. our prayer. We pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims from around the world, that they may be welcomed in our midst and treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our, our prayer. We pray for all prisoners and captives, that a spirit of forgiveness may replace vengeance and retribution, and that we, with all the destitute, lonely, and oppressed, they be restored to the fullness of God's grace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all children and families, particularly for the orphaned, neglected, abused, and those who live in fear of violence or disease, that they may be relieved and protected. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bless, O oh Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, 
and all others to minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. We we'll pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Jeff Karowski, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Karen Liu, Eva Longmire, Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz Massengill, Kat Bates, Norina Guerra, and those responding to natural and human made disasters. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the aged, and the infirm, for those with physical or mental disabilities, that all may have access to proper health care, and that God's loving embrace may be felt by all who suffer. We hold before you especially Hank, Peter, Bob, Joe, Nina, Mark, Pam, MB, Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue D, Todd, Debbie, Carol, Stephanie, Einstein, Danny M, Pamela, baby James Henry, Amy, Tish, Tori, Tom, Harry, Barbara D, Father Guy who is sitting vigil for his mother, those hurt by the recent rash of gun violence in our nation, and all those affected by COVID-19. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our, Hear our prayer. prayer. We commend to you, Lord, all who have died, remembering especially Shirley Leolu, Daniel Alvarez, Frederick Ulrich, Colin Powell, those killed nationwide as a result of gun violence, and the millions worldwide who have died from COVID-19. May they rest in peace. God of love, in your mercy. You are so our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your son. Watch over our country now and in the days ahead and make your ways known amongst all people. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Amen.